All right, guys, welcome back. Before we get into reassembling the car, let's talk map sensor. Oh, map sensor. The one that comes stock with the 335 stock charge pipe can only read like 12 to 17 foot pounds of boost. So we need to upgrade that so that when we add more boost, the car will read proper amount of boost. So we need to change out the map sensor. I bought this from Burger Motorsports. It comes with the uh, plug and play adapter. You just plug one side into the into the one that comes with the car, plug it into this, and just plug it back up. Let's start with removing the cold air intake. And the map sensor, I can feel it, is just right here. You are gonna need a Torx to get to it and the wire, you can feel is right below it. And once we get to that, we just start putting everything back together. Don't see any more leaks. Let's get it in and then we can go back to our regularly scheduled program. Okay, cold air intake is out. Um, I need to clean this again. Just buy a new one. They're pretty easy to clean. Just dip them in some soapy water. Give them a little scrub here and there. And it, there's a oil you need to put on it. Let it sit dry from its bath. Put the oil on it. Let it sit dry again. And then we can clean it out and let me get my light in this so you guys can see. There it is. Now I just gotta get around it. Remember which type of torque it was. Alright. I think in some part, early part of the video, I called it a map sensor. It's not a map sensor, it's a map sensor. This is actually the 3.5 bar map sensor this should allow us to read higher boost the stock version of the map sensor will only allow you to read like 12 what is it like 12 to 17 whereas this which is correct me if i'm wrong this is an m3 map sensor if i'm correct but if we upgrade that should allow us to read higher levels of boost let's just get to work installing it let me see if i can find my uh all right, so to get the screws off, you're gonna need a T15. Torx, let's see if I, let's get this in here. Focus, no. Anyway, it's a T15. Like five, five hundred. But then again, you have other choices. There's the B58, which I think the B58 engines, I think those, those handle the power like easy, like real easy. back well, like I said before they have an adapter that's pretty much plug and play once you 
take out the map sensor. There's a wire connected to it. Just pull it out, plug this one in, plug that one in. And we're good. We're good. Clicky. And then we plug the other one up in there, plug it back in, and that's pretty much it. But should you get a U35 today? Yeah, if you um, if you like to struggle a little bit. Yeah, but if you don't have that much money and you uh, want to go ahead and get some easy power, yeah, 335 is the way to go. But there are better options. You can get it's like. I don't know if those are down uh, uh, like at the prices of the 335 or not. I don't know. But the 335s at N54 specifically. Like I think N54 ended in like 2009. And this is a 2009. So 2009 is when they fixed a lot of the issues from 2006. 2008 and on. I drive is different. There's a lot of things that are different on this car. Let me see if I can find my screw. Back. I want that screw back. I got it. Okay, yeah. So if you get it, first thing I would change is this charge pipe. Like, First thing I did when I got it, heard about the JB4, hooked up the JB4, and what starts to happen with the stock charge pipe is that air is being forced in, more boost, and the charge pipe can't handle it, so it kind of restricts the air, and then you get the limp mode, which will not let the car have as much power as it's supposed to have. Then you have to st stop and restart it for it to reset. But that's gonna keep on happening until you change this charge pipe. Secondly, I will change the front mount in a cooler. Yep, that's gonna help keep the air charge airs uh, cool. Going into the charge pipe. And then you can turn, the, then you can turn up the map to like, uh, map 5, which map 5 is a learning map, and I guess it'd be better if you just did it with the, the front mount and the cooler and a charge pipe. And then there's a whole bunch of other things that you need to change if you want the car to function properly. But we'll get into that in another video. Let's put the new charge, let's put the new map sensor on, let me get it off. I'm going to need two hands for this. kind of glad the water pump went on this car because I just had all these parts that I, like over time I was just collecting because I planned to do this, but then I started working on my sister's car, then the A46 started giving me problems, and uh, yeah, so Matt, here we are, here we are. Now we have all the time to play, my friends. All this play time. I figured I'd change it up a little bit because we're getting close to uh, finishing with the, um, the radiator. I just want to make sure nothing's leaking. And once that happens, we're going to start it. Alright, 
I'm gonna struggle with this to make sure I don't break anything. Okay, we got it off. I did break something, but we don't need it anymore because we got a new one. The adapter goes on, and then we just plug it up. Right. Snaps, plug it back into the charge pipe. She's gonna snap. Not. That's it. Tighten it back up, and we're done. So we are going to start to fill this thing back up and start it up. the adapter fits everything fits let's go so guys i hope that helps um you are going to need the 3.5 bar map you are going to need that if you want to read boost properly you're going to need that charge pipe and you're going to need the front mount and a cooler if you want to make like 500 on stock uh stock internal and well no not the front mount and the cooler but that charge pipe if you want to make 500 without changing the front mount and the cooler just change that charge pipe and uh yeah i would upgrade the map sensor too while you're at it and that's it you can get 500 easily you don't have enough money to buy like a b58 or something like that but i'm pretty sure everybody's pretty much getting B58s now because they're more reliable. This car is gonna give you, uh, this car is gonna give you like check engine lights and stuff like that, but hey man, it's a toxic relationship. I love it. Uh, okay. All right, guys, subscribe to the channel if you like. Please like and I'll see you guys in the next one, I'm out.